We're going to take this wooden kit, scratch make an interior, custom design some 3D printed parts, and install dimmable LED lighting inside and out. So let's get rolling. We're going to start with this great little kit from JL Innovative Design. It's the Suds Bucket. Uh, I really like this wooden kit. It's my first one actually. Had lots of detail parts on motorcycles and stuff. Uh, not all of those are shown here in this video. Uh, but for this project, I renamed it Boyd's Billiards, uh, not to be confused with a woodland scenic structure like that. Uh, it's actually based on a real uh, CD place that I used to uh, go to with my friend Boyd, and that's another story. Uh, but I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about my planning and my considerations for doing this. Uh, first of all, with the lighting inside and outside, and I will talk about the specific products that I use to do that. And then also for the interior rooms, do a quick overview of how how I made them and the things that have to go into that. So with the front windows and the roof still able to come off, let's head over to the workshop and get started. You're going to be able to see in there pretty well. So I want to be able to have a pool table, probably a dancing pole since it's that kind of place, and a bar room back in there. And then up on the second floor, I want to be able to have interior bedroom or whatever up in there. I'll put a some sort of probably little red light off of that door up there maybe a gooseneck down over on top of this one I probably won't directly light the sign in front because I want to be able to see inside better I'll probably do a landscape light from far you can see that I have these supports in here and this back doorway part that's gonna make it hard for me to make it one big piece in here so I'll probably have to turn it into two little rooms, a, a front room, and then get on the other side of these supports and then maybe like another back room here and I can you know, cut an archway or a hole through there so you'll be able to see. And so when you'd be able to look in here in this area that'd be able to see through into the bar room in the back. And then on the second floor, and I might be able to just go as deep as I want, because the light will be contained in this room upstairs and the light will be contained in these rooms downstairs. But I've got this window back here, I've got this window, and I've got this doorway and stuff back here which has got a little loading dock that goes there. So I'm thinking that if I put one light inside this room, it'll shine down through there, shine out this light and shine out that window too. So just with an interior simple LED, I can light those areas up. Just a couple of things here about how I do my rooms. I always start with the dimension of the floor. Uh, lay out the floor exactly to the dimensions. Just create a box uh, like you would in any uh, drawing program. And then um, I usually do the, the back wall. Copy the box uh, and paste it so I've got exactly the same uh, width dimensions. Uh, and then I just need to adjust the dimensions for height. And then uh, the ceiling, since the ceiling matches the floor, I can just copy the box again and put it up here and it's the ceiling. With the walls, since I've got this one for the height figured out already, I'll copy this box, uh, flip it 90 degrees to the right, say, um, and get it over here and then simply just match up the width to the existing width of the floor. Then I, I simply copy this box and stick it over here and match it up and, and it's done. There's the two side walls, the back wall, the floor, uh, and the ceiling. Anything going on these walls has to be oriented properly so that when it folds up it, it makes sense. So all in all these are very simple to make Again, the most important thing is getting the dimensions exactly right, uh, and I always start with the floor. I print these out on heavy card stock. That seems to, to work the best for rigidity and to, and to hold up. Uh, and then uh, what I do is simply uh, cut a little hole out uh, in the ceiling uh, for the light to fit into, and, and that's pretty much it. I use the Just Plug system from Woodland Scenics to power all the lights on my layout. I like it because it's simple, they're dimmable, uh, their lights work great, and so do others that you can find cheaply on the internet. I've got other videos on my channel about this, and I'll put a link here at the end of the video. I'm using a warm LED here to light this room, and one advantage the Woodland Scenics light has is a finished housing. 
and it makes it really great to mount as an overhead light in a room. I end up doing a lot of test fitting with mock-up rooms that I made just on regular printer paper. Uh, and after all the adjustments are made, I print the final version on cardstock. That jukebox is carved from blue foam with a picture from the internet glued to the front of it. The interior details I made with my 3D printer, the Monoprice Voxel. I used Tinkercad to design the dancing pole stage and the bar. Uh, the bar I made in three pieces and glued them together. Uh, the stage I made with a hole in it so I could put in a little piece of aluminum pipe to represent the pole. And every pole needs a dancer, so I used these knock figures, uh, great quality, and a little bit of acrylic caulking to secure jade here to the pole. I 3D printed the bar stools with a mounting hole in it for the aluminum pipe and then bored some holes in the floor of the bar. After spending some time making some careful measurements with a seated figure, I got the height just right, clipped the poles to length, and glued them into the bar. Finally, I used a little acrylic caulking to secure the figures in place. I also used Tinkercad to design the pool table. This one was a little tricky. I had a little trouble with this because I wanted to print it in two parts to make it easier to paint the green on the top. It took a few tries and some minor adjustments, but I finally got one I could live with. If you've got a 3D printer or are thinking of getting one, another great source of already designed HO scale items is on Thingiverse. That's where I got the design for this bed and entertainment center that you see here. I also use this couch scene from Knock, a great quality. This is for the second floor. For the light above this door here, I'm going to use a Woodland Scenics Nano LED. Nothing fancy, just going to stick it out the hole, glue it in place. I'm testing it with a white one here, but ultimately that'll be red. For the light above this door, I'm using the gooseneck lamp from Evan Designs. If you order it with a resistor, you can power it with the Just Plug system. Seems really well made, comes with nice little two-prong connectors, and the shade is loose so you can adjust it afterwards. The wires were thin but pre-stripped and much easier to deal with than the gooseneck that comes from Woodland Scenics. I had to very carefully sneak the wire in above the downstairs room and testing the lamp here, uh, the shade is still loose but very happy with the quality. I'm using caulking to secure the fixtures in the room. It's flexible, has a good working time and will come off better than glue if necessary. This is a Woodland Scenics LED. I had originally planned to use a red one here but in the end like the warm white the best. A little bit of caulking is all it takes to hold this in place. and A number of test fits and good measurements is really the key to success here. We'll do a quick check of the lights. You can easily see the detail on the back of the room and I'll play with the dimmers later to get it balanced just right. With the second floor I just used some tape to secure it in place and in hindsight I really should have made it just a little bit shorter to give plenty of room for the wire and the light once the roof went on. Now the kit comes with this really great motorcycle to mount on the front, but instead I used one of the paper signs that came with the kit, mounted it to some styrene, and then put that onto a little piece of matchstick, and kind of made my own sign. I just wanted to do something a little different here, and I was really happy with the way it came out. Now for a final check of the lighting. You can see I've got some work to do around that door downstairs, and when the upstairs comes on, you can see the light coming down on top of that loading dock. That's really what I was going for. The range of this Nano LED from Woodland Scenics is really good. Having the dimmer control makes all the difference. You can see it here on the gooseneck too. That was my first time using anything from Evan Designs and I'll definitely be getting some more. I'm happy the way the interior is showing through without lighting the front of the building. And with the second floor on its own dimmer I have complete control over when it's visible. So this really turned out to be a fun project. I got to use my 3D printer to make parts. I used some new lighting I hadn't used before, and the JL Innovative kit was really great. I've still got some exterior details to add, do some weathering, fix that lampshade in place, although I kind of like it bent like that. I can't wait to get this in place on my layout. So that's a wrap from here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and look for the links to other model train videos on my channel. Thanks for hanging out.